I have some new tour dates to announce. Uh, I will be in Toronto, Ontario, August 31st at the Elgin Theater, Lincoln, Lincoln, California, on September 15th, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, on October 27th and 28th, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, September 8th, San Jose, California, September 14th, and Washington, D.C. on October 21st at the theater at MGM National Harbor. All tickets are available at theovon.com slash T-O-U-R. Thank you for your support. Today's guest is a rapper uh, from Los Angeles. He's out of Compton. California. Um... He's one, you know, he got, he has, he has, he's got some hits. He's got some bangers. You know, he'll put it together for you. He'll put that anthem on that'll bring the babies, get the heads bobbing. And, um, you know, he's an actor, he's an entrepreneur. Uh, he's doing a lot of different things, and I'm just grateful to chop it up with him. Today's guest is Mr. YG. Hold on. Of brothers seem like they got that cologne built into them. That's what I need. Yeah, my shit hit different. Really? Yeah, my shit different. What's happening, Mike? What to do, bro? What's popping? Not much. Just um, excited to spend time with you today. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, dog. Um, so for some of my listeners that won't know about you, right? So you grew up in California. Yeah. Yeah. And um. What was y'all's neighborhood like growing up? Oh man, um, I grew up like in multiple different, you know, what I'm saying places. Um, but it was um, it was like shootouts, shit going on like that. Uh-huh. Um, some spots was, was chilling in the other, and then you know, what I'm saying it was. Robberies going on a lot heavy in one spot. You I know, hate robberies. We was doing them though, so it was different. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I guess if you, yeah, if you're on the receiving end of it, <laughs> yeah, it was different though. <laughs> like, a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. yeah in these uh, in these apartments, was I it fun in. or not? Was it scary or was it fun? No, it was all fun. It was. Yeah, that'd be the crazy thing, bro. Like. A lot of people that grow up, you know what I'm saying, living like, you feel me, the ghetto, dangerous life, like a lot of us think it's fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then when you make it out, and then you start looking back, you're like, damn, I was playing with fire <laughs> like the whole time. Like, it'd be crazy. Yeah, that's what seems interesting sometimes. It's like, uh, it seems like the, the, it seems like Grand Theft Auto sometimes, yeah, you know, sure. whenever, whenever you get out of that space and you get into like a, like a, I guess probably, they probably look at it as like a fancier way of living or you make it out. Right. Yeah. Do those, do those people look differently at you then? Is that kind of. Um, I mean, it depends on your story. You know what I'm saying? And how you came up and made it out. And, um, like, you know, you always gonna have a group of people that's speaking like down on you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Negative comments, but um, like when you did it like, you know what I'm saying, like the right way, or like, you know what I'm saying, you kept it solid, you feel me? You gonna have a lot of people that's like championing your name, you know? Yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's, I can see that. Yeah. Like, 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 like my story, like, you know what I'm saying, if you from LA, like, if you from Los Angeles County, you know what I'm saying, you know YG story, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you feel me, you like, you probably damn near feel like you know YG, you know? Um, So I feel like me making it out, still being out here, you know what I'm saying, having success and still doing it, I feel like, like a lot of people, like, you know what I'm saying, they um support 
they look up I to do. it. Yeah. They support it. They can relate. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? They seen the whole come up. Right. Know? Do they have Halloween in like the hood or whatever? Do they have Halloween in the hood or? Yeah, there's Halloween everywhere. Oh, it's yeah. dangerous though. Really? I mean, Halloween is a night you can get away with doing crime because everybody wearing costumes and masks and shit like that. So, you know. Yeah, you can't have a police lineup with fucking Dracula in it, <laughs> Super Mario. <laughs> That's going to, uh, nobody's going to know who did anything. Exactly. You can't call and say a Pokemon just fucking held me up. Yeah. Um, what is like the best holiday in uh in like the hood? What is the best holiday you think? Fourth of July. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that should be popping. Really? Hell yeah. Block parties everywhere. Yeah, you know what I'm barbecues, barbecues, block party, fireworks. It's like, four, it's like four parties going on. You hitting like four parties yeah. in one day. You know what I'm saying? It's like Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day weekend. So that kind of day is a bigger day and uh, than like kind of a traditional holiday, probably. Now you now you ask what's the best holiday in the hood? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the other holidays, like you with your family in the house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, or the three holidays I just named is like you outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like like on some hood shit, like Yeah. Those gonna be the best three holidays. You know? Yeah. I would like I think sometimes I would like to go to some of those parties, you know? Yeah, no, the parties, bro, you know what I'm saying? Be lit. Be lit. You know what I'm saying? Like I stopped doing like the wild Ghetto hood. You take the day off for that? Parties. No, 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 no. Hell no. I still wait, what you mean? Like would you would people date take the day off of um like doing you know, I don't want to say crime or whatever, but do people take the day off and just everybody is at a truce and everything's chill, like on a Memorial Day or Fourth of July? Hell no, you get your brain splat. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you at the wrong place at the wrong time, you know what I'm saying? Wrong room. Wrong group of people, you know what I'm saying? You get seen by the wrong person, something like it's bad. Damn, bro, some fucking freeze tag in that bitch y'all playing, huh? Yeah, like, I mean, I'm chilling, but, you know. When you left, when you moved out of there, did you have to, like, have a formal meeting with everybody and be like, hey, guys, I just want you to know? No, like, bro, I was living, like, like, I was living in, in Inglewood for for a minute like but I was like when I started like having success like I was living in Inglewood like dead smack in the middle of the ghetto and everybody knew where I lived at like yeah you know what I'm saying and um, you know what I'm saying I was having like songs on the radio doing all type of leaving out of town going on tour my mama and them at the house you know what I'm saying? Um, well, yeah, when I got up out of there, like, I just got on. I went to the valley. Damn. I Did went to the valley, but I left the valley because I'm like, this shit weak. The valley was? Hell yeah. Yeah. It's a lot like, of Uber Eats and shit out there. No, nah, this like, you feel me? This is like 2013. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I let I went to the valley. I left the valley and shit. I'm like, nah. <laughs> <That valley back. laughs> and then I'm with the Orange County. <laughs> you feel me? I went to like Huntington Beach or something. Damn. Yeah, bro. I was all over the place. Like my whole life out here, I've been all over the place. Like, do you think? Uh, man, I would love. It. What do you, you think? You ever do like a Christmas album? A Christmas album? Yeah. I mean, I feel like you feel me, that'd be kind of weird for me, no? I don't think I mean I don't think it would be I don't I, mean, I think if it would, I did a Christmas album, like my shit would be like it'd be like my shit would be like called like ho ho ho, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just have a couple <laughs> bitches on it. Yeah, my shit. Yeah, like Rudolph about, the red nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta My shit would be yeah. about the bitches. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it's beginning to look like these bitches are showing <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah I could see something like that. See, I would love if there was like kind of like a 
I bet you could pull some anthems, though, out of, like, a Christmas album, man. Maybe, you know? I'm trying to think of something else. Um, I'm dreaming of a red bone bitch with a long-ass braid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we got to take you to the studio. I mean, I'm just trying to think. I would just... I've never seen a Christmas album that had, a, you know that really had some fucking fire in it. You know, Mariah did that one, and that one was good, but that's nothing that's... Nobody's really come up and pulled up at Christmas with that fucking banger, boy. It, it was like some gangster shit? Yeah, that's what I want, yeah. you know? You, you like gangster music? I want to see somebody fucking shoot up a snowman, you know? Oh, yeah, you are. Um, I like some of it. Like, when I was growing up, I, like, Lil Wayne was... I grew up in New Orleans, so or outside of New Orleans, so, like, juvenile... Who else? Lil Wayne, uh, Partners in Crime, Mystical, uh, Cash Money was huge then. Hell yeah. Dude, Cash Money used to go come to the gym at LSU and uh it was like Silk and Master P and he would they would have these other dudes stand on the side and hold their clothes for whenever they got done playing. Just some dudes like just standing there like they were like a coat rack. <laughs> just holding their shoes and clothes. Um so what kind of motive, like, like, so when do you, when does music really start to kind of take off for you? And were you always musically inclined or did that come with like through school, through friends? Um, I mean, I grew up, you know what I'm saying? My family, like my mom and my pops, my, like everybody around, you know what I'm saying? was heavy hip hop, rap, um, R&B, you know what I'm saying, family, you know what I'm saying, that's all we, like, like listen to. But, um, like, in high school is when I started rapping, though. Like, I started rapping in high school. And, like, like, my homies that I went to school with, you know what I'm saying, who, like, who knew me since then, you feel me? They be like, bro, since you started, you had it. Wow. <laughs> it was just like, you know what I'm saying, like, I always made music that people like party to, you know what I'm saying? So when I started off and I was just like a rookie trash, I thought I was weak as fuck. You feel me? The homies was like, nah, this shit hard, we partying <laughs> and this shit. Like, yeah. you feel me? So like, I don't know, bro, but uh. So it was just a gift, you think? Yeah, do you think, it, do you look at it as a gift? Do you look at it as like a? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I'm for sure gifted, for sure. For sure, gifted. Um, yeah, it's a gift. You know what I'm saying? Like I just had to work on a couple of things, you know. And would they let you like in school? Would they let you do it, or do you, or do you mostly just start to produce stuff with friends? What you mean in school? Would they let me do it? Like, do they say like you start coming up with lyrics, right? Uh huh. Say you got like you got rhymes, you got lyrics, you got bars. Yeah. Do. What's the next thing you have to get? How do you, do you may also make your own beats or do you get matched up with a beat maker? What's that like and how hard is that? You know, I was trying to make my own beats and shit at first and shit. I couldn't get, like, I couldn't fuck with the programming and, 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 and I just couldn't get with it and shit. So uh, I started just rapping on on other beats like how Lil Wayne was doing. Mm -hmm. And shit, I was on like Lime Wire and all that shit, downloading just shit. pulling beats down? Yeah, <laughs> like rapping on shit like that. Yeah. And then um, probably like a year later, I started meeting like motherfuckers that made beats and shit on, on MySpace and shit. Um, and then yeah, like I started having my like, like original songs and shit. And um, like outside of that, like what helped like me like navigate and like end up popping off, you know what I'm saying? Out the city was, you know what I'm saying? I was like in the streets and shit and I had like a movement going on at a young age and I had a, like a gang of motherfuckers and we was all from the same clique. It was like some young high school, like high school, fresh out of high school, ghetto ass kid shit, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know that movement like helped me like navigate through the city like, like everybody was talking about like why is he this why is he that ah, ah, ah. and uh yeah. Did y'all have any weaponry? Hell yeah, we, yeah, yeah, Dang. bro. Like 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 I came up like in the club, like outside 
at a young age, doing all the outside shit. You feel me? We was doing all the street shit. Yeah. But then we was partying. We was like, we was the party. We was the party crew. But then at the party, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to go to all the parties. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, I used to be like, like gangbanging, you know, at the parties. And the parties was, you know what I'm saying, would have a whole bunch of like motherfuckers from the other side type right. shit. And so they're, they're, ba- they, and those are the guys, you got to get those guys. <laughs> nah, it's just we'll start getting into it in the party, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm banging my shit, they banging they shit. We like, so what? Ah, ah, and then it'll just start going up. It'll be fights, it'll be shootouts, Damn. all that type of shit. And you, um. You feel me? That was happening like every other weekend. Fuck. Yeah. Dang, that's like a what? Like a, that's like the Wild West, man. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? When you, like, bro, when you coming up in LA and you young and shit, that's like, bro, that shit is regular. Damn. Yeah. And how do you get into a gang? Do you have to, like, apply or anything? Or how do you... Yeah, you got to apply. I mean, <laughs> you got to get jumped on. You know what oh. I'm saying? You got to... That's you applying, I guess. You got to get... Damn, what? Yeah, you got to get jumped on by, like, multiple motherfuckers, you know? And what do you even wear to something like that? Me, I had on... Damn, what I had on when I got, when I got put on... I had on like a long ass white t-shirt and some skinny jeans. Oh yeah. Uh, not skinny though, but at the time, you feel me? They would have called them skinny at, at that time. Back yeah. Day. And do you, are you allowed to defend yourself during that or no, that's not part of it? Hell yeah, you better. Damn. I don't know if I could do it, bro. No, you can't fight? I can. Yeah, so you good. I don't know though. I can't fight that good. Oh. I can. You can? Yeah. Do you miss it sometimes? What, fighting? Yeah. I mean, just because now your life is a little different, you know? You don't have to fight as much. I mean, you don't have to battle every day. No, 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 no. No, I feel like I did enough fighting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back then, you, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like motherfuckers don't fight no more, you know? I know. Yeah. It's changed a lot, huh? It changed a lot. Yeah, people it's just unfollow people. Huh? People unfollow people. Oh, yeah. That's their, you know, it's like, it's definitely a lot different. Do you look at the younger generation and be like, damn, these cats got it easy? Or do you think they just have it different? No, 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 I just think it's different because, like, when I was a young nigga, the motherfuckers older than us, like, we a hate to hear, like, oh, the motherfuckers got it easy. Like, nah, like, you sound like a hater. You know what I'm saying? It's just different. Like, time's changing, you know? Yeah. And what other weaponry would y'all use? Only guns or any? Would people have some, like, uh, bats or <laughs> knuckles, bows? No, that's NWA type shit. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have, it wasn't like that, huh? Yeah, no, we wouldn't have no bats and shit. You know what I'm saying? What um, What's the best type of weapon for a holdup, do you think? For who? For like a hold up. If you're going to hold somebody up, you're going to stick somebody up. or Rob somebody? Yeah, rob somebody. If you're going to rob somebody, what's the best? What do you think? Um, A pistol. Yeah. Ugh, motherfucker's scared of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, if I see a pistol, I get scared. Sometimes my arms won't move. <laughs> like I lock up, you know? Yeah. Damn. Um, You got shot before. Yeah. Damn, bro. I always wanted to get shot. Huh? <laughs> I always wanted to. Just to feel what it... Just in my leg or something. I never wanted to take something in the chest, you know? Uh, crazy, bro. But I always wanted to you feel... be careful what you wish for, dog. Yeah, maybe we'll take that part out, bro. <laughs> that might be a lot, bro. No, no leave it in there. But you, All right. you gotta go take it back. You gotta, <laughs> go, still, you gotta go talk to the man up there. He said, you know what, man? Yeah, I was just having a good time. I ain't really mean that shit. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I need to bring that up, bro. But yeah, I always want to, I think, I, you know, you always, I always want to have experiences that I never had. I never got to smoke crack. I've never been shot. And well, Bro, um, you can go smoke crack. Like, I know. Easy. I know, but now it's like I don't drink or anything now, so I feel like I would really have to go back into that space. Like, If you want some crack, let me know. I can get you some. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You know people that smoke it? I know people that got it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, so dang. let me know what you want right. to do. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. <laughs> um, take me through that experience of getting shot, man. Is it okay if I ask you about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I talked about it before. Like, what you mean, take through experience? Like, like, did you, were you expecting to get shot or it was a surprise? It was kind of a surprise. Like, you know what I'm saying? I knew it was like some shit going on. But, um, like, like I ran out trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to do something. And then I ended up getting shot. Oh, yeah. And yeah. where did it hit you at the bullet? It hit me like my hip and then like. Stomach? Like, you know what? Like pubic hair and shit at? Yeah, yeah. The like Damn. Right oh. there on the dick, like on top of the <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I got like three bullet holes and shit. You still got the bullets in you? No, 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 Damn. Damn, bro. And did it hurt? Yeah, that shit hurt it. Yeah. I but my shit was like it's like all flesh. Like it didn't hit no bone or nothing. None of that. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like my shit could have been worse. Way worse. Yeah. And did um, you go to the doctor or did you have a friend take it out? No, I went to the hospital. Oh. I went to the hospital. Dang, bro, that's heavy, man. Do you feel like it gave you more street credit after that? Like at that point do you feel like, man, I think at this point we paid our dues, you know? Nah, I don't, like, getting shot don't give you street credit. Like, or the motherfucker that's doing the shooting to get the street credit. Damn. But, like, like, the situation that happened, like, the motherfuckers who start shooting, they end up getting chased up, up out of there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And whatever happened to them, did you ever see them again or see them... Even Bro, online or anything? Nah, we still be trying to figure out, like, who the fuck. Dang, boy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's the coldest shit ever. Yeah, it is. Because, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like, you just on, on, on. You feel me? You got your guard up at all times because you don't know. You coming across people, like, and it's already, like, you would, like, have some weird vibes with somebody. And then you would be just, you would just think like, is this motherfucker have something to do with that shit? You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, man. Yeah. I could see that easy being kind of like suspecting everybody a little bit. Mm-hmm. Dang. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. That's right. I've gotten therapy. I've gotten BetterHelp. Um, you know, I've had times where I wasn't seeing the world as comfortably as I should be. You know, and it wasn't just a little thing. It wasn't just something that I knew would pass. It was something that, that was building and gaining momentum inside of me. And it kind of scared me. You know, if you're struggling, if there's something that's off, it's, I mean, we're humans. We have a voice and we need to use that. And we need to get feedback from someone who knows what they're talking about. BetterHelp can help set you up with a licensed professional that's right, it's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time. There's no charge. And I want to iterate that. If, if, if you are going to a therapist and it's super comfortable and easy, but nothing's changing, then that might not be the best scenario. You can always try a new one here or there. You can go back to the first one if you want. Visit betterhelp.com slash T H E O today to get 10% off your first month. That's right. That's better H E L P dot com slash Theo. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. When you um when you look at music for you now, like how has it kind of evolved? How has rap evolved for you since you first started? Like when you look at making a new project, um, How's it? Because you've you've had a good vision. I feel like at this point you've had a good vision of the industry. You know, you've had a lot of experience. You've also, um, what what does it look like when you kind of are trying to put something new together? 
Are you talking about a song or a project? A project, like a whole album maybe, or even just a song. It could be anything. I mean, for a project, it depends on what type of project like I'm trying to make. Like, like, um, like, 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 when is she coming out? Um, I'm not sure, but we can make it come out whenever. All right, so like me and Tiger working on a, a project right now, you know what I'm saying? And the approach is just like, we just talking shit, we having fun, you know what I'm saying? We in the studio. It ain't no pressure, it ain't no, it's not no deep thinking, none of that type of shit. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? We linking up, we vibing out, we doing music, we partying, we doing all this shit, you know what I'm saying? We creating a body of work. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's one approach. Oh, yeah. That's like mixtape vibes, you know? Mm-hmm. And then you got the, you know what I'm saying? You got the, uh, you got the real, you got the conceptual albums, like, approach. You know what I'm saying? And that shit get a little different. You know what I'm saying? That shit, like, you bring the white boy, the white boards out. You bring the notepads out. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of sitting, plotting. You know what I'm saying? You listening to whatever your favorite albums might be or whatever type of shit you trying to do, you, you know what I'm saying? You getting inspiration, you watching movies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You watching whatever you, it's, it's deep, it's intense, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and like, you know what I'm saying? Those is like the two different um, type of album process that I've been doing, you know what I'm saying, since I've been rapping this shit. Yeah. You've had works in the past, uh, I heard you talk about, that you, just your ownership of your stuff, you know? Like your ownership of your masters, I guess, and of your, like, just your work, right? Which I think is huge, right? It's one of the reasons why I podcast, so that I don't have to work for anybody, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and, um, and I think the audience loves that. They love that they know this is, th- nobody's cutting this. You know, yeah. nobody has a hand in on this except for the person who's the creator, you know. Yeah. Um, what, what What's that like for you? Because I know you, I mean, I've, I've I've listened to you talk about it a little bit, but where does that kind of come from, you think? Because some people don't care. Um, So I just got like my ownership and all that shit like recently, like, you know what I'm saying? Probably like, probably like last year, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like my music moving forward type shit. Which is a, uh, it is what it is, but you know what I'm saying. My shit, me caring about that, um, me caring about it. It's like now I'm grown as fuck, like you know what I'm saying. So it's like, it's normal, you know what I'm saying. That's how we moving, like you know what I'm saying. You hit a certain age and you start realizing certain shit, but like, you know what I'm saying. I start caring about the shit before I was older, cause. Like Nipsey had a lot to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Nip used to like. He would preach that? He would preach that shit. Like, bro, he would preach that shit crazy. Like, wow. Like, like, yeah, like, bro, crazy. And then the brand shit, like, creating your own brand. You know what I'm saying? How to live on longer than you. You know what I'm saying? He was like, he was pushing that line and all that. And, you know, you feel me? That's when I created my 400 brand and shit and um yeah that's like probably one of the best things i ever did you know um and i own that fully like own that been hey, owning man, that years so um that's huge you know what i'm saying i was on that shit like back in the day like 25 26 but like my deal you know what i'm saying i signed when i was 19 you know what i'm oh, saying yeah i just got out that motherfucker like 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 twenty twenty one type shit. So um now now this with my music, yeah, like you feel me on the music side of shit, yeah. Do you feel more inspired because now you can work just for yourself? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I'm inspired. I feel like I left a whole lot of money on the table. I gotta go, you know what I'm saying, dig that shit up, bring that shit back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm inspired for sure. For sure. Dude, that's amazing, man. It's so crazy. yeah, because so many people don't realize like you need help to get places, right? You need sometimes, like, you have to be able to let somebody, you almost have to pay your dues a little bit sometimes, right? Like, I remember when I would go to clubs, the club owner used to get most of the money from the yeah. ticket sales. 
right? Until a but, certain point when I was selling tickets, finally I was like, no, we need to change this, yeah, right? Yeah. Or I'm not just not even going to do it. I'll build my, I'd rather build my own club. Exactly. And just or I'm going to go there. to a club around the corner who's going to give me the deal I want. Right. I'm going to bring all these people to that club. Yeah. Fuck your club. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Um, but yeah, I think having ownership, I think probably seems like it'd be real empowering. Yeah, and then that nigga Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying, he like, like you know what I'm saying, he the reason why everybody is on that shit. You know oh, really? Cause, yeah, because Hov been, Hov been preaching that shit, you know what I'm saying, back in the 90s all the way to now. So, like, we all grew up hearing that shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, own your shit. Yeah, own your shit, own your shit, own your shit, own your shit. And then, like, watching, like, everybody who been in the game, you know what I'm saying, 10, 20 years before us and shit, and looking at all they moves, it's like, bro, that shit is in us now. Like, yeah. You know what I'm it's saying? Locked like, in. Yeah, it's yeah. in us. Yeah, because it's such a genre. I mean, especially, I mean, rap music is really, and hip hop is a black genre kind of a music, right? So to think that they wouldn't have ownership of their shit is really fucking unreal. I mean, yeah, but it's the music business thing. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's the music we business. We created the music business. Right. You know what I'm saying? We created the. The hip hop rap um, leg of the shit, you know what I'm saying? Branch of the shit, but we didn't create the music business, right? You didn't create, yeah. Who owns the speakers? Who owns the uh, the radio stations? Yeah, all of that. Yeah, the fucking distribution. How you putting the shit out? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's always an owner. It seems like, man. Of course. That shit fucking makes me mad, bro. I hate that shit. I always wanted to do entirely my own thing. I mean, you doing it now, bro. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I need to calm down. <laughs> I gotta chill yeah. a little. Um, so with the uh, with Tiger, what's the thing with Tiger? Like, because I, I seen you guys. I met you at uh, the golf. Yeah, yeah. At the golf, what'd you think yeah. of that, man? Of the uh, no, that shit was dope. That was fire. Yeah, huh? I ain't never been in no golf <laughs> tournament or none of that shit. Like. You feel me? That shit was a big ass party. That shit was crazy. Bro, and they built that shit. It wasn't even supposed to, it was just using this grass right there and they built that thing. That was wild, oh, man. Shit. Yeah, that shit was dope. Yeah, and that was Super Bowl weekend too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you gotten to meet some like rap icons and stuff like that? Hell yeah. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, I met Tupac Mama, bro, before she uh -uh. passed. It was crazy. Yeah, that shit was crazy and shit. And then, like, I met Pac Mama, right? So they got the Grammy. Um, They was doing something. It was Grammy weekend. Mm -hmm. And they had a, a, a Tupac, um, I, I think it was like a museum. Some with the Grammys, though. And uh, you feel me? Like, they wanted me to come speak. You feel me? On the behalf of the, 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 the uh, new generation at the time. It was like 2015. Wow. And they wanted me to come speak on a behalf of the new generation like Tupac impact on us you, you know the motherfuckers who grew up like grew up listening to Pac when he passed type shit you know right oh um, so you know what I'm saying I go I speak on, 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 on like you feel me the new generation and just you know what I'm saying how I felt and, and, and Pac impact you know what I'm saying and then uh, you know what I'm saying like I said some shit and his mama uh, she came up to me shit, and was like crying and shit. She was like, I love what you said about my son. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, yeah, 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 for sure. And then she just looking at me and she crying. She like, they really killed my baby. They really killed my baby. I'm like, God damn. Bro, that shit fucked me up. Cause like, I thought Pac was alive. <laughs> like, I thought Pac was alive, bro. My I, my whole, bro, my whole life, bro. I thought Pac was alive, but that day, <laughs> that day, yeah. I'm like, nah, bro, he gone, dog. His mama was crying in my face. No, nah, he gone. Bro, that shit fucked me up, bro. That shit was Damn, crazy. That's a fucking sad moment, bro. Yeah, it was sad as fuck, bro. Damn, what'd you do? Do you like hold her or something? I mean, what was she? Was she really broken up? Yeah, no, nah, we was holding hands and shit uh, like this. You know what I'm saying? But so no, nah, but still it still really hurts her a lot. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, I can Of course, it does because it's your child. But still, for her to say that right in front of you, man, that's powerful. Yeah, uh, I got a picture. I got a picture with her. She beautiful. When we was talking and shit. Oh, if y'all on Google, y'all on Google with y'all on. 
Yeah, they on. I think you can find it probably maybe YG and uh, Miss Shakur. Oh, funny, yeah. I, I funny. This dope. Damn. I'm like, damn, I'm at Park Mama. Wow. And had her crying. <laughs> you right Off the real shit. You feel me? I just said some real shit. Oh, that's cool, bro. Oh, yeah, there it go right there. Wow. That's legendary, man. Yeah, so when you say rap icon, you know what I'm saying? A fine secure. She got like an icon, you know what I'm saying? She ain't a rapper, but she pop mama and shit, you feel me? So yeah. me, me and her, that was big. You feel me? I was one of the biggest little situations. And then I met like Ho and shit. Um, Dang. Who else? And who's the most gangster person that you've met, really? Who's the realest motherfucker? You know what I'm Snoop saying? Snoop Dogg. Is he really? Yeah. Dang, bro. Snoop. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. He got it. Suge Knight too. <laughs> you met him? Yeah, no. Suge Knight used to be like with me and shit, pulling up to the clubs and uh -uh. shit. Yeah, all that shit. And the water's part for him, probably, huh? Huh? People don't play with him, huh? Like, what you mean? I mean, I feel like it would be when he shows up, people get real serious, probably around him. Like people like are scared. Saying, like scared? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, so got a lot of motherfuckers scared for Damn. sure. Um. Um, man, it's a lot of motherfuckers who G'd up, bro, you know? But yeah, I didn't met like damn near everybody. Damn. I've been doing this shit for a minute, dog. Yeah, I know. I know you have. <laughs> I'm trying to think, did you ever get to meet Mystical or no? Nah, I ain't met Mystical. He was different, huh? His whole style was kind of different. Yeah, Mystical was hard. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I seen him at a car wash once. And uh, this is cool. Oh, sure. I wanted to say what's up, but I didn't. I was embarrassed in my car at the time, and I didn't want him to see my fucking car. <laughs> so I didn't even go over there, bro. I covered my shit in suds, too, so we couldn't see it, bro. No, you should have embraced. You should have said, Miss Go, what's oh, no. up? Hey, I'm going to be somebody one day. Watch. <laughs> Remember this shit I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, man. And we used to listen. Who else was in Cash Money? I'm trying to think they had... Uh, who was that other guy they had? The BG. Remember him? B a BG. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Chopper City, man. He was this. Yeah, I remember bro too. Yeah, I really loved him. Hey, where Hurricane Chris from? He from Hurricane Chris? Yeah. I don't hey, know. Hey, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Life folks, gangsters in the club. Hey, baby. 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 From where? Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh, yeah. I'm glad he made it out of there. Yeah. Shreveport. You know, he just shot somebody or some shit recently. Oh, dang, bro. I think he murdered some shit. He flatlined oh, some man. shit. Hey, baby. Hey, baby, boy. boy. He got away with it, though, I think. Oh, he did? Yeah. Look, see? B second degree murder. B second degree murder. Come on now. D I know my shit. Damn, boy. Debo looking unwell in that bitch, too, right there. He ain't looking real boy, well. Boy. Who's like some of the hardest chicks that's coming up, you think? Females. Oh, sexy red going brazy. Really? Yeah. Dang, I got to see her. She a blood from St. Louis. She is? Yeah. So she hard, though. <laughs> sexy red. Let me see a look at her. Sexy red, huh? Sexy red. Ghetto. Ghetto hood shit. Oh, that's what I like, boy. Oh, yeah, you like that, huh? I like some of that shit. Oh, yeah, you from uh, New Orleans. I like the mother. Yeah, you used to I that like shit. Fucking... All right. I like some <laughs> of that. I like it when that shit is going on, boy. Oh, yeah, I like her. She seems good. Sexy red. I'm going to have to check her out then. Yeah, bro. Oh, you ever had some black ghetto pussy? Oh, man. I don't know about that. Oh, uh, <laughs> I've been, I mean, I've been with a mix, I think mixed, I think I've been with. Okay, 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 okay. I think, what's the darkest woman you ever been with, you think? Real dark? Yeah, I had some dark-skinned women, for sure. I love them. Oh, yeah. Dark chocolate. Damn, boy. Yeah. Pink. Oh. Pink as fuck. <laughs> Dang, boy. Damn, boy. Well, at least they healthy. They sound healthy. Um, I'm trying to think of what I like. Yeah, I think I would like. Yeah, I would like maybe like a 
white, like a nice black woman. Um, what about Asian woman? You like Asian woman? Yeah. Okay. I, like, I, 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 I ain't got no type. Yeah. I'm like Ray Sherman. Yeah, I like them. Well, I ain't got no type. Well, you know. Um, what rapper would be a good preacher as well, you think, or a good pastor? pastor? I'm talking to somebody. Be, who would be like the next T.D. Jakes? You know what I'm talking about? Snoop. Really? <laughs> yeah, you got to see him in BMF. He playing that role in BMF. He do? Yeah, you got to watch it. All right. He plays a pastor? <laughs> yeah, he plays a pastor. All right. <laughs> My nigga Snoop do it all. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like it, huh? Oh, that. Oh, damn. I hey, everything I'd say is facts, bro. Yeah. No cap. Damn, look at him in there. He looked like a lean Jesse Jackson, like an early Jesse Jackson, <laughs> bro. Wow. Oh, you know who would be a good pastor? Who is it? Be kind of different, but it'd be good. <laughs> Kanye West. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he tried it, though, I think. Did you ever go to one of his Sunday services? Nah, but I was watching this shit on the internet and shit. Yeah. Yeah. He was getting close. In the in, in uh, the rap community, do people think that he went crazy? Do people think that... What, what, hey, what, man, the rap community, we love Kanye. Yeah. You feel me? The black community, the rap community, we love Kanye. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did so much. I mean, he's he's such a uh, Kanye is a nigga. He's a yeah. I, I know you can't say that like that, but no, but he I, is a nigga, and we love him. Yeah, I think it's and I won't. You say know, he it. be fucking up sometimes. Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, he, be saying still, some, yeah. he be saying some shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Be like, God damn, that was crazy. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? We love you. Yeah, I think everybody love you. You know. I think everybody wants the best for him. Yeah, man, I think he's real creative. I just bought his shoes, and then they said, you know. What did you do after you bought the shoes? I kept them bitches. I still okay, wear them. Okay, 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 for yeah. sure. That's how I support him, you know. Yeah. I wish he'd come back and make them again. I enjoyed him. Yeah, I think he's going to do something like that yeah. for sure. Yeah, he'll figure it out. I think he's creative enough. Yeah. Um, what else, man? What other kind of business do you see yourself getting in, man? What's the next? Businesses? Huh, Yeah. Man, I'm 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 because Boosie got the chips. I'm heavy in the um what you have cologne or what? Oh, man, I want to do some rap or uh, some rap or uh, some rap chips or the rap snack chips yeah. and shit. I mean, I want to do me some little bags, you know what I'm saying? Like some flaming hot ones, you know what I'm saying? Soul game. But um man, I'm heavy in the TV and film space right now. I got some shit I'm finna announce real soon. I was gonna announce it. When it first happened, but you, you feel me, the writer strike and shit happened. Yeah. So, y'all doing um, something new? They got to get that shit right, and then I'm gonna announce. You know what I'm saying? My partnership and what I got going on, and um, yeah, I, I, I'm heavy into the TV and film space right now. You know what I'm saying? I got my 400 brand, and I think can I get some of the 400 stuff? I got some shit here for you. Oh God, you boy. know what I'm saying? I can walk I'm in. Fucking do that shit. I can walk in right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's see it, bro. Hey, bring the 400 in the building. Bring it in. Like in a room. And bring me that Please. fucking Draco, too, homie. I'm going to fucking shoot something. <laughs> he want to shoot something. I know. Sorry, I'm fired up. Yeah, yeah. the boxes. You feel me? I always wanted to be Just a the boxes. Oh, damn, bro. Really? Yeah, bro. Oh, gang, man. Gang shit, bro. This is what I fucking need. If I do a crime, I'm, I'm doing it in this man. shit. Yeah, yeah, God damn. I'm just saying, boy, if you know I do a crime, got... bro, I'm doing it in the fucking nicest shit. Oh, wow, that's hype. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's for one it, man. That's hype. Oh, and they got the red, too. I, I hate when motherfuckers pull up on me empty-handed. Like, motherfucker, bring a bottle or something. Look, I'm going to remember that. I'm gonna you know remember what I'm saying? That. Yeah, bro. See what else we got here. This like Christmas right here. Yeah, the flame, bro. baby. You the flame, dog. Oh wow, these are real shoes, huh? Hey, wear my shit like you wear the fucking Yeezys and shit. Yeah, man, I wear these, baby. You know what I'm saying, look at the bottom, look at the sole. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. that's nice, boy. Mm, yeah. Cocaine whites. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, I used to do that cocaine, baby. Damn. <laughs> I'll fucking be out there doing it. Did you ever like it? Coke? Yeah. Um, 
I don't think I ever tried it. It's not. A, is it a hood? Is, is cocaine or like a? Do people do cocaine in the hood? Is it real popular or no? Yeah, people do coke in the hood. Yeah, it's popular. Damn, it's popular as fuck. What what kept you off of it? You think? Did you see somebody that you just saw the effects of it? Or it just wasn't your thing. It's never been your thing. Nah, like I just I don't even remember me doing it. I gotta ask one of my homies if I ever tried. It. <laughs> <laughs> what about mushrooms, bro? You see a lot of brothers doing mushrooms now, bro. What you think of all of that? Because a lot of nah, brothers used to not do natural. It. Yeah, it is. But you think it's. When I was growing up, they didn't have a lot of brothers wasn't doing LSD, mushrooms, and that kind of shit. They didn't want that magic in them, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. No, it's a lot of it's a lot of brothers. It's a lot of blacks. It's a lot of motherfuckers in the hood doing mushrooms. That's shit what's right up, now. bro. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Because that's yeah. good for your brisket. Like, it, make, it expands yeah. your mind, you bro, know? Bro, it's crazy. Like, my homies and shit, like, they be like, yeah, I'm off the shrooms. I'm like, damn, y'all niggas doing shrooms now? <laughs> like, I ain't back. You feel me? I tried shrooms, like, twice. Do you like it? One time I was in the studio and shit, and the walls was moving and shit, and I was trying to like record and shit. I was like standing, you feel me, the mic right here, and then a the wall right behind the mic. So like, like I'm just looking at the wall trying to rap, and the shit was like moving and shit. I had to leave. I'm like, nah, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was up all night talking like about like space and the aliens and shit, just yeah. weird shit. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I can't do this shit. <laughs> Hey, bro, I just got to stick with my alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, man. Yeah, I think mushroom make you really, because we did a bunch of a bunch of LSD one time, and we went to the um, Waffle House, right? They had a Waffle House in our town, so we went there, and we was all, you know, we was squirreling, bro. We was fucking, you know, like that. Looking like tweakers. Oh, we look like a couple of fucking <laughs> squirrels, bro. We look like the fucking two squirrels in that bitch. And we never uh and they had a gay gentleman that worked in there and he was a um he was the waiter. And we'd mm -hmm. never met a gay dude before. We'd heard about him, but we never met one. And we were laughing so hard, um, he thought my buddy was choking, right? So he starts doing a Heimlich maneuver on my buddy, bro, and we fucking howling, bro. We never <laughs> seen nothing like it, bro. Oh, dude, man. we were laughing so hard. That dude pumping my buddy, bro, at the, fucking, at the Waffle House. So anyway, that was something good. I'm trying to meet. You remember the first white person you ever met or not? First white person I ever met? Um, nah, like. I guess it's been so school, diverse. Bro. Yeah, at school. Yeah. I'm trying yeah, to remember school. the first black guy I ever met. Dude, I remember the first time I went to a black doctor, right? I went to a doctor, and I'd never been to a black doctor. I never even thought about it, right? Mm -hmm. And I went in, and it was a black doctor, and I was like, oh, fuck, man. Yeah. Like, is he going to know what's wrong with me? Oh. You know, that's what I thought, bro. Oh, bro, that sounds like some racist shit. I know, but what I'm saying is <laughs> like... I didn't mean like Oh wow. But here's what it made me think. It made oh. me think that when I was growing up, all my black friends had to go to white doctors. Dude. And I was like, fuck, I wonder if they ever went in there and thought, how's this dude just because you know, just because of what times were like, how's this dude gonna know what's wrong with me? No, so hey, so like now when I be going to the doctor, I want a black doctor. Yeah. Because see, if you a doctor, you feel me? Y'all all went to school. Y'all learned the same shit. Not, you know what I'm saying? You probably a little smarter than this motherfucker or you specialize in this, ah, ah, whatever, 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 right? But when it come down to it, I feel like because I'm so like tapped in into the world and shit now and just people and shit, like I'm like, I want a black doctor because I'm a black person. Mm -hmm. So if I got a black doctor, I feel like he's going to care about me and what I got going on more. Mm -hmm. So I need a black doctor. Yeah. You feel me? That's <laughs> the type of shit I'm on in my life. And it ain't really on no racial shit. It's just like, you feel me? Like, that's just how humans, I don't know. I feel like, like if I'm a black dude and I walk in a fucking doctor's office, the black person going to care about my situation more than anybody else good point you know well it makes sense that you would that anybody would think that way yeah. and if he has a if he had like i think yeah I, well when i was growing up they didn't have like a lot of black folks didn't have 
you didn't have a black, like in our town, we didn't have a black doctor, right? We had assistant principal, teachers, some black teachers, but they just didn't have it, you know? Like it was in Louisiana, they just didn't have it yet. So it was just crazy, man. I just never thought, damn, I never even been to a black doctor. And then I walked in one day and it was a black doctor. And I was like, damn, I don't even know how to do this. And then he was cool as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. he was cool as hell. Yeah, but I was just, I was, in, I was like, damn. And then I started thinking, yeah, what if people had gone, had their whole life, they had to go to white doctors. Would they ever think that they were being, they might think they aren't being cared for properly. You yeah, know, no, for sure. it was just interesting thoughts. You know, have you been in an accident? Have you been damaged up? Check your body. Is something broken? Is something missing? That's the, you're like, whoa, jeepers. No wonder I'm late to work. I don't have a limb. Well, Morgan and Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. If someone has done you wrong, well, what are you going to do? Being fair is very important to me. Morgan & Morgan, they have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers. With over $15 billion recovered for clients, Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Submitting a claim to Morgan & Morgan is as easy as, as, as washing your thighs, baby, with warm water and good soap, free soap. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. That's right. Could be a car accident. Could have been something that happened at work. Fairness is important. Morgan & Morgan, their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash this past weekend or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. That's forthepeople.com slash this past weekend or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. But he was cool, man. Um, but I'm trying to think of what else we could think about. Oh, a lot of people say that there's beef between black folks and aliens and shit. Do you you hear a lot about that? Hell no, bro. I don't know nothing about it. I don't think nobody ever seen an alien, bro. I think that shit a cat. Really? Yeah, for real. Why don't more black people see aliens? I don't think no people see an alien. So you think a lot of people just... They capping, they're lying. They're like capping, bro. Motherfuckers cat. You think why? Because they're just lonely or bored? Motherfuckers is just bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Just be just, just bullshit. Like, have you seen an alien? I never have. You know somebody who seen one? I don't. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. Have you seen a UFO? Mm, no. Exactly. You seen it? Mm -mm. That's the thing. And I think black people would see them more often because they're black people outside a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Oh, that was the funniest shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, so everybody would see them, bro. We outside. Uh. I'm just saying they would, they would probably see them first, right? I don't know because white people outside more than us because you feel me? They be tanning and shit. Yeah, that's a good point, bro. <laughs> but that's daytime, though. That's daytime, man. What they got to do with a UFO? <laughs> that's a good point, man. A lot of UFOs. Are you only going to see them at night? Yeah. I, well, I think a lot of them, they seem to get out more at night. See? Nah, man. That's bullshit. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, see, we see our airplanes fly during the daytime. That's true, bro. Um. So when we, so like, do you have a like a new plan for when's it when's it when's your stuff with Tiger gonna come out? Do you have a plan or it's just kind of you taking it as it comes? I mean, that shit coming out like August September. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, yeah, we got the tour. You know what I'm saying? We oh, y'all touring? Yeah, me, him, and Sweetie going on tour. And uh oh. Shit. You know. Uh -oh. As long as this interview come out after next Tuesday, it's good. Okay, okay, yeah. we can do that. Uh, I bet. Wow, yeah, so, bro, that's yeah, hype. We on tour, you know what I'm saying? We doing a little run. And this will be your first tour since pandemic, huh? Nah, I did a, I did a, um, I did like a run top of this year, like January, February. I did a run. Uh, do you like going out on tour? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I like, 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 you know what I'm saying? I, 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 
I'm like the dude who like partying and shit, you know? Yeah, you like to have a good time. Yeah. You ever party with 6 9 that guy? Nah, you know what bro, I'm talking about? Nah. That rainbow guy? Nah, bro, nah. Nah. What about um Brian McKnight? Brian McKnight? Nah, nah. I don't, nah, I ain't party with that either. What about Joe to see? Ever met them? Um, have I met them? I, I don't know. I don't know if I, I have think either. so. But I, I, ain't I don't sure. know if I have either. Um, I mean, I seen you met like Donald Trump or something. I saw him at the fights last weekend. Oh, last weekend? Yeah, I saw him at the fights the other day. What fight was he at? I met. He uh, was at the UFC. Have you been to UFC? I ain't been to a fight. Bro, you got to come with me sometime. Man, you feel me? I be watching them shit. Them shit's crazy as fuck. Bro, you would love it there, bro. Hey, last week, bro, that was like two months ago. Oh, I saw him last week too. Who fought last week? Um, this guy Volkanovski and another guy Yair Rodriguez were the the headliners. Oh and, uh, shit! Yeah, but I, I met him two times. Yeah, do black people fuck with him more? It, it seems like it, to me, it seemed like more black guys would mess with Trump because he seems more. Like connected to the culture a little bit. Hey, look, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The black community was not fucking with Trump. You know what I'm saying? But when that PPP shit and all that shit came out, mm -hmm. black people forgave him. Because he helped out? Yeah. I'm speaking on the motherfuckers in the hood and shit in the yeah. streets. I'm speaking on they behalf. You feel me? Let them tell it. You feel me? This is what they say. Yeah. Shit. Biden ain't did nothing for us. That nigga Trump was, was passing out money. <laughs> <laughs> we fuck with Trump. I'm like, damn, so y'all back with Trump just like that, huh? <laughs> nigga's, like, nigga's like, hell yeah, nigga was passing out money. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that shit crazy. Bro, that's true though. Somebody yeah. showed up with a couple of bucks, man. That'll change the way you think about them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I, yeah, I thought it was interesting. I mean, I didn't speak with him too much, but his son was there. I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know how. I mean, I have different. I don't really trust a lot of these cats, you know. Yeah. I never really liked politics. I never trusted. The, I never really trusted politics, man. I never. Because we grew up in like a poor area. So if something was out happening in our area. Nobody cared because we weren't paying taxes. You know, we didn't have a lot of tax money, so they weren't really coming to help us, you know? Hey, so what you tell him when you met him? Trump? Yeah. I asked him if, I, if he thought I could be a working, po if, if if he thought I could work in politics one day. He like said, he knew you, you and shit? No, he didn't. But he's uh -huh. like, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the best thing about Trump. I will say this, man. He's like, you're doing great. You're fine. You're good. He goes, your parents are great. I was like, my dad been dead for 30 years. He goes, <laughs> he's he goes, a bullshitter. <laughs> no, but he goes, but before that, he was doing good. <laughs> Bro, I fucking laughed. Hey, so yeah. Oh, the gang, I would have laughed too. Yeah. I would have laughed for bro, sure. I laughed so hard, man, because he was right, kind of. He like makes you feel, you know, he's just good at shaking. He just like, makes you feel excited, you know. Um, <laughs> but he was real friendly. He rolled in with Mike Tyson, man, the first time that I met him, which was crazy. And then, uh, but yeah, he seemed to be doing good. Um, who 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 did I? Oh, I did sit next to his son one time because his son looks kind of like a business guy, you know. Man, you know I made the biggest fuck Trump song ever. Fuck Donald Trump. That was your song. Yeah, that's my shit. No way, bro. Yeah, bro. You know that? I didn't even that's, know that. You feel me? That's me and Nip shit. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah. Damn, congratulations. So I wanted to like, what he gonna like if I ever met the nigga? Like, what he gonna say? Other than me. He probably like it's a good song. <laughs> he probably <laughs> would because it was a good song. He would at least give you that credit, you know? Hey, hey, you funny as hell. He would at least, I think, give you that credit, man. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, I don't know. I, I, sometimes, yeah, it's interesting. Politics is interesting because you start to see, like, if certain communities are just being used, if certain communities are just being uh, taken advantage of, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, man, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else we want to talk about. But I thought that he was nice, though. Yeah, he was nice. Yeah, but it's, you know, I don't know him. I don't know what he's like as a, 
business person and everything, but he seemed to just sit there and enjoy the fights, you know? Yeah, he'd be and, grabbing bitches by their pussy and shit too, right? I mean, who a lot of people had been. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Who don't? <laughs> who don't? <laughs> <laughs> well, he should, bro, if he sold a fucking set of like uh, dishwashing gloves that were just like that, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, I do, damn, bro. Yeah, man. He did, yeah, he was grabbing people by the pussy, man. Yeah, he was grabbing people by the yeah. pussy. But yeah, and I guess some people don't want, they don't want that. <laughs> they want you to just, you know, tap them. They, yeah, and yeah, he was doing it. <laughs> What kind of women do you prefer? You have a, you don't you don't have no type. Oh, um, I like what I like. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I like, like a, if I see it and I like it, I like it. Yep. And you like a long woman, or you like a small woman? Um, like like how you just said that that shit don't sound right at all. So yeah, yeah. right about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you ever get to meet Boosie? That's the last question. I'm oh, yeah, not hell yeah. I met Boosie. Boosie, real nigga. I had Boosie when he was fresh out of jail. I had him pull up in the hood on a block. Really? Yeah, he pulled up. You know what I'm saying? He hopped out. You feel me? On Rosecrans, all his chains on. You feel me? Hit, hit Oleander, then hit Spruce. Yeah. Walk up on a block. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The homie's like, hey, Boosie in the hood. Like, yeah, nigga. It's up, nigga. Boosie pull up, you feel me? Like, yeah, what's up, nigga? Fresh shout out, like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> yeah, this was like 2014 or something, though. Yeah, I remember, dude. Yeah. Because he got out right around Easter, bro. And I remember I put a tweet out of it that said, he is risen, bro. Yeah, yeah, Like, the yeah, day he yeah, got yeah. out, I was so yeah, excited. Yeah, we grew up off Boosie. Bro. Dude, I could be in the worst mood, bro. I put on a fucking- Bro, we used to ride, motherfucker. That used to be our-, our, our, our Hype song? Or warm up song. Oh, damn. Set it off in this motherfucker. Set it Set off. Set it off. I click up, dog. No, <laughs> man. No, it was bad, bro. So y'all had warm up music for robberies? Yeah, bro. You know when you <laughs> going around, you riding around, you scoping some shit out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we God, all gonna set boy. it off. Yeah, I used you know to fucking saying? listen to that shit, boy. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> we get you, bro. Yeah. Bro, that's the only car. You get out the car to dance at a stoplight with that bitch on, bro. People yeah. fucking get out. In Louisiana, you put that on, there could be anything going on, bro. Robbery, murder, burial, whatever, bro. Wedding, you turn on that fucking song, everything changes, bro. People that's fucking up. having a blast, man. That's what's up. That's the one thing I love about Boosie. He does it. Boosie's real, too, man. He came in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boosie, real motherfucker. He sure. came in here, and uh, we had a, we had a really nice time. I really just, yeah, I think he's a neat guy. Yeah, no, for sure. You got to appreciate motherfuckers like Boosie, bro, you know? Oh, yeah. But we need more motherfuckers like Boosie. He rolled up. He got extremely high, I remember. And then he went outside and he opened the car door and a couple, they had a bunch of like luggage and stuff in there, but they had a couple bitches rolled out the luggage and they was dancing. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, it was, I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Um... YG, we got these new items, bro. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, bro. I'm finna um I'm working on 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 a new product, you know what I'm saying? It's finna come out through my 400 brand. Mm -hmm. Um like my homies be taking a lot of like like you know them them uh like them sex pills from the gas station, yeah, I like take, the blue I've rhinos them. and shit. Bro, I've taken yeah, them a lot. Not, of them. Yeah, no, them not good for you and shit. So. Oh, the ones make my legs sweat. The ones I'm working I used on to some take. all natural sex pills. It's all natural. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so all natural shit, and I'm gonna put them out through the brand and shit. And um, uh, you you know I'm inspired by the by the homies and shit because I'm like, bro, y'all can't keep y'all gonna have like like heart problems and shit later on. Are they taking shit. a lot of them? I mean, I like I don't like who knows what's a lot. Yeah, like who knows what's a <laughs> lot. <That's> true, bro. <laughs> you can take ten. Like who knows? Like you know what I'm saying? So it's like, nah, bro. Let me go figure some shit. I'm gonna go put something together. You know. So bro, uh, somebody take it. Hey, when I get the, you know what I'm saying? When I get I'll the try, final I'll product, be a trial, dude. Bro, I'll be a uh, trial tester for him. Nah, we already got the testing and shit going. And how the testing go good? The year is all natural, bro. It's all natural shit. No side effects. I'll take effects. them bitches. I'll take some. I might take one if I'm even going to the market or anything. If I'm going just to, <laughs> I go to Ross Dress for Less, bro. Have a little bit of pump on me. 
I like that shit. I like walking in. <laughs> this motherfucker crazy. I'm serious, bro. You cap, dog. I'm serious, bro, dude. You, you get ha- you get a little bit amped up, bro. You roll in. I like don't want to know about none of that. But I'm just saying, bro. You rather roll in like this or like that? I'm. Uh, you man. halfway to the fucking. You halfway to the party. About, I don't want to know about none of that. I, you don't want selling the pill, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the pill for you. Know what I'm saying whenever you want to do what you want to do. Yeah, that's intimacy. You know what I'm saying? That's that Valentine's. I care pill. about my people. You know. Is there a lot of All erect- natural? Is huh? there a lot of erectile dysfunction in the black community? <laughs> man, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I'm saying, bro, why y'all making the pill? <laughs> no, nah, cause like. I'm sh- like you feel me? I think niggas be fucking a lot, and you oh, feel me? I know me? they do. I've Motherfuckers seen be trying to. They be having like a lot of different women. They trying to keep it going. Just like make that first impression on, just smack it down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know the homies be out here fucking. Oh, they fucking a lot. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I'm inspired <laughs> to make the shit. You feel me? Because you feel me, the homies, but. Yeah. Like it's gonna be a product for everybody. You natural. Know? And natural. Will it, will it be a gum? Will it be a tablet? And you know, sex sale. Oh yeah. So sex you know, sale, baby. Think if I created like the Trojan condoms. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be a billionaire. Yeah. And if you had this nice pill. And so is the pill All is, natural. Is it a tablet? Is it a gum? Oh um, no, it's a pill, it's a capsule. Okay. Or even a nasal spray. I would do that, bitch, boy. Nasal spray. Get, get a couple pumps of that? No, that ain't classy. You know what I'm saying? That's like. That's true. Yeah, you got to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to be discreet about it. Yeah, discreet, classy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to give it to you so you can test it out. Damn. I'm going to have to yeah, get you a You seem date, like a wild motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, like. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so I'm going to give you the pill and you let me know did it work or not. All right. Yeah, I take them a lot, man. And I'll tell you this also, buddy, um, that uh, because I've here the worst part is if you take one, right? You go on a date, you take one, and then your date says, "I don't, I'm not having a nice time on this date. I'm going home." Then you out there, you really. I mean, I drink alcohol, bro. I just get faded. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if you take a pill. You get amped up a little bit, and then the lady goes home. You lurk. Then you now you out in the town. You lurking. See, that's why I just drink alcohol. Yeah, because nigga going straight to sleep. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you ain't pulling up. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> yeah, man. That's uh, that's nice to have. Do you have a preference of alcohol? You said I'm a tequila uh, drinker. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Heavy on a tequila. Really? Heavy on a tequila, light on the ice. Yeah. Why do they do light ice? A lot of brothers do light ice. What is it? Because I got enough phone anyway. Dang, come on. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Come on, boy. It's beginning to look a lot <laughs> like Christmas. You feel me? That's a Wayne bar. Hold the, the ice. I got the, enough phone anyway. Gang, baby. Yeah. Uh, 400, thank you for coming in, YG. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I'll, I'm excited to try the pills, man. I take them regularly. <laughs> no shame in my shit, bro. And if I can get natural on some fucking, if I get one of those brother uppers and I'm on that bitch, dog, I'll take that bitch, dog. It's like ginseng and other like shit like that. You can put you know as much saying? gin in it as you want, bro. I'll fucking take that bitch, son. All right, um, bro. I'm excited about it. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the gifts, man, and thanks for pulling up. No, man, appreciate you for having me, gang. Yeah, and uh, we're looking forward to the new music, man. Yep, coming soon. Gang, baby, best of luck. Yeah, thank you. You too. Now I'm just floating on the breeze And I feel I'm falling like these leaves I must be cornerstone